Oh, that was a cock up. It's all very pretty, but there was a bit of a grisly discovery laying up ahead. Oh, but it might have just been a rock. Was, was, it, was it a twig? Bonjour! Surely he's not going to eat the dead ones. Second day in France, first journey of the day, and I'm not paying attention. Big thanks to Sue Brooker and Helen Belton for your contributions to keeping the channel going this week. Thanks to them, I've turned the mid-roll ads off. This is episode two of our French trip, so if you haven't seen the first one, check that out. Absolutely beautiful at this little air. Didn't hear a sound overnight. Quite a breeze today. We sat and relaxed in the van for a little while until a beautiful white horse inspired us to go out for a walk. We're going to take a walk in this park to an old fort on an island. This park up we're at is free and they've also got toilets here. The overwhelming sound in these woods is the wind rustling through the trees. Well that was a cock up. We went on the wrong path and ended up walking through some stinging nettles. I never realised stinging nettles can sting you through, through your, your trousers. trousers. Oh dear. It was your idea. My idea. What's it say? Well, I only know some of it, so don't make any noise. Yeah. Listen to what is happening. The use of uh, noisy equipment is forbidden. Don't cut the flowers, they're beautiful. It's for raising the water, yeah. isn't it? It's all very pretty, but there was a bit of a grisly discovery laying up ahead. It's a bit grim, isn't it? Huge. Um, is it a pike? Looks no idea. very long, really honks, doesn't it? Well, you can tell by the shape of the leaves it's horse chestnut. No oh, right. Don't often see them in flower. No, I've never seen it before. No. Just normally see the conkers in the autumn. We've arrived at the lake and in the centre is supposed to be a fort. There now follows the great debate about was it a turtle? It's a turtle or is it a rock? It was a, well a rock, it was definitely a turtle. A rock yeah. doesn't climb on a twig, Bunny. No. A rock yeah. doesn't climb on a twig, Bunny. No. Is it sticking its head up? I don't know. No, but it might have just been a rock. Was, was, it, was it a twig? This one's asleep, so maybe I have more luck. The water's not very clear. That's the fort on the island. Don't know if we're able to get onto it. There's a bridge though, so we might be lucky. But I've just noticed that we've got three geese guarding the entrance. I reckon it was one of these brochets. It was quite a long fish, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Brochet is French for pike. So I think I was right there. As we rounded the bend, we met the guardians of the bridge. They could tell we're not French by the way we walked. As the goose was nibbling the grass, we heard our first cuckoo of the year. Bonjour! Come on then, speak to us! Come on then, speak to us! Bonjour! The goose charmer. So, 
during Operation Dynamo in June 1940, this fort here was bombarded for 48 hours. They clearly don't like you going in the fort, as this gate was locked. So we try and take a peek using the drone. I've got to be careful here, because if I make a mistake, I'm not going to be able to get in there to get the drone back. And that would be embarrassing, because it's got my name on it. Sadly, we can't see very much at all, and I'm a little bit frightened of taking it up higher because of the wind. Yeah, not liking that at all, so I think I'll bring it back down. Go back to filming ducks, Ken. Far safer in these winds. We're back at the pond with the dead fish, and there's a heron flying around. Surely he's not going to eat the dead ones. Something has clearly poisoned these fish. There's another one there, and another one over there. The heron was walking towards these steps, but he knows we're here, even though we're hiding behind a tree. In the end, we gave up waiting and saw the golfers enjoying the local golf course. We enjoyed our walk, but now it's time to get moving. Second day in France, first journey of the day, and I'm not paying attention. Can you spot my mistake? That's right, wrong side of the road. Lucky escape. Thank goodness nothing was coming. I think this guy on the bike is a French postman. This is the town of Berg just coming through the old town walls. Left. Note the metal thing in the centre of the roundabout. Just a little roundabout, isn't it? You okay. wouldn't want to go directly across that. No. It's a bit of damage. They had a big lump of metal sticking up in the centre if you didn't see it. So. We were hoping to park in this square, but there's a fun fair setting up. Can't see any spaces. Yep. It's a sleepy little place, this one. That all looks tasty. There's 50 bells up in that tower and it rings every quarter of an hour. Nobody seems bothered by the huge geezer sitting in the chair. We finally found somewhere to have lunch. <laughs> Fight your way through the chips before you can get to your sausage. So what have you got? Uh, fillets. American fillet. So I'm wondering if there's any meat in it. Mm. Mm. 
Is that, that drink not too bandy? Yeah, it's very nice. Do you know how strong it was? 3.8. Oh, it's not too bad then. No. It's oddly like a sour cherry taste. Yeah. There's no um, sugar in it. No. Yeah. What's the damage? 22.50. Boy, was it noisy in that place. After lunch, we took a walk through the town up to see the old abbey. Now this old Citroen van has got a bit of style. All the old buildings have got these hinges where the old shutters used to be. The sun is out and it's getting a bit chilly in this wind. There have been constant strong winds ever since we've been here. I don't know if that's normal for this time of the year. We're up on top of the town walls now. All those arches down there look. That van has just left the local air, which is right by the walls, free for 48 hours. Here's another one of those postman's bikes. Take a look at the stand that allows it just to stand upright and be wheeled if necessary. Here comes the posting now. You see some interesting things in people's gardens here. The abbey is up this little passage. I hope this person's windmill is providing mains electricity. We've made it to the Abbey, or rather, what remains of it. I'm a bit out of puff walking up this hill. This is all that's left of St Winnock Abbey. Take note of the flat roof. As we walk up to it, you can get a real sense of the scale. So it's thought the abbey was founded here in about 1022, but it was destroyed by the French Revolution in 1789. And all that's left is this square tower and the pointed tower which was rebuilt in 1815. There's a little bar cafe in the park just next to the abbey. Maybe that would have been a better choice for lunch. Big steps, aren't they? Yeah, very uneven as well, so much you don't fall over. What's it saying? So it's also, because this was the highest point of the town, it was a target for the Germans in the Second oh, right. World War, and they set the tower there on fire in June 1940. Is that why it's got a flat top? That's why it's got a flat top now, they haven't rebuilt it. Who's this lady? This is Marie-Christine Lambrecht. She lived in Burgess and all her family lived here all, all her life and she had a really big family and she loved listening to the bell tower. She can just hear in the background now and she said if you could sum up the bell tower in one word it would be the soul. There was a time when these walls kept people out but now they've cut through them to allow the cars through. We had a nice time walking around the town, but now I feel like a bit of a flop. It's forbidden to camp in cars. We thought we'd check out that air we'd spotted. Oh, it's up there, look. Have a look at our first air on this trip to see what 
score is. So they've got plenty of waist spins. Yeah. So, uh, no motorhomes are allowed to park for free for a limited time of 48 hours. No drainage allowed here. You've seen it. We didn't fancy the air with all those other campers, so we found another little place just here on the left. It's nothing special this place, it's uh, by a restaurant and it's just somewhere to relax for a little while. When it's dry, a lot more bits and pieces get dragged into the van. That looks an interesting old place. I was going to fly the drone to get a look at that agricultural building. But I think I'll give it a miss in these winds. They're all piling out of the restaurant just down the end of the car park here. We chilled out for a few hours here. I had a nice nap and Carol read a book. We live near a main rail line, but rarely see freight traffic going. I think in the UK it mainly moves at night. Let's go. I thought that was a dog. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's tiny. That's right. Unusually for us, we're back at the same park up that we used the night before. We're yeah, parking in the same place in between the trees. Yeah. General idea. And they're still here. They're last night. Yeah. Motorhome next to us. Okay, so. We are having these steaks of pork, vegetables which are frozen and they've got potato in them already. A mushroom sauce in a pouch, nice and easy. So first of all, just some olive oil in a pan. So I'm just frying the pork for a few minutes each side to give it a bit of colour and I've added a very tiny amount of water to the veg so they just need to steam and put the lid on and we'll get them cooking. Mmm. Yummy. Is that right? Yeah, great. Good. Yummy. That was top notch, thank you very much. Very tasty. Yeah. I'd buy that sauce again, definitely. So would I. It's never rattled before and I can't see anything loose inside. So this is a paddle steamer called the Princess Elizabeth that was used in the Dunkirk evacuations. Oh. Carol's gone up the tower. There's no way I'm walking up all of those steps. But I bet you're really glad she did. We hope you enjoyed the video. The best way to help us is to hit that subscribe button and give us a like so that more people get to see the channel. The ad revenue we get helps to keep us on the road and of course means more videos. If the PayPal our Super Chat donations reach a certain level, then I'll keep the mid-rolls turned off.